Morning, just defrosting the car, just turn the fan off. Off to the practical astronomy show, just defrosting the car. I brought two hot cups of tea to my wife in bed, so I'm in the good books and I'm allowed to go and play. Uh, really looking forward to the show and um, hoping to pick up another focuser and uh, if I can, another coma corrector so I can run two Newtonians at the same time. And just generally, I want to see uh, some lectures as well and uh, just have a great day out. So I will see you there. Just arrived at the show and I've pretty much managed to park in exactly the same spot that I parked in last year. Uh, there are people queuing outside, which is great to see. Uh, really excited and I'm looking forward to getting inside. So I'm going to gather all my stuff together now and we'll head inside to the Practical Astronomy Show. As you walk into the building, there's always a short queue for the tickets for the talks. Now, all of the talks are free and the speakers give their time freely as well. I saw David Harlan's observatory talk, uh, which was really interesting. Very, very interesting talk about observatory automation. And then there was Dr. Robin Glover's SharpCap talk, which was really good, diving into some of the many features of SharpCap. And then I watched Neil Philipson's talk on building observatories, which was really good as well. The talks are well worth going to see. And the fact that they're all free and the people giving the talks give their time freely as well. It's really one of the main attractions going to these shows because you can learn so much just from the talks. The main hall is kind of laid out in a square with vendors around the edge and also vendors in the middle. So you can kind of walk around it has a real wow factor as you walk in and the first thing you see is a huge row of telescopes and mounts greeting you at the Altair stand literally as you walk through the door. It's actually quite difficult to know where to start because as you walk through there's just so much to catch the eye you kind of want to go and see everything straight away but you really need to sort of pace yourself and take stock of what's in the room because there really is so much to see and it's very easy to miss something that you really want to find out more about. The widescreen centre stand had the new Skywatcher CQ350 mount on display. It's great to see a new mount coming on the market. This particular one bridges the gap between the EQ6 and EQ8 size mounts. This particular model disappeared halfway through the day so I assume that it had sold. They also had the Star Adventurer GTI on display which was really good to see and two of the harmonic drive mounts, one from ASI, the AM5 and the Pegasus Astro harmonic drive mount as well. There was also on the Altair stand the Ioptron version 365 astronomy had the Sharp Star harmonic mount on display. So it was good to be able to see all of the new mounts that are coming onto the market. As you walk around, there's an amazing range of refractors and reflectors on display. It's good to see that it's not just high-end mounts and scopes which are being displayed. There's a lot of affordable and accessible equipment on display there, which is really good to see. There was also a good range of binoculars and eyepieces available, so it wasn't just for images. The visual observers are also catered for as well. Many of the stands were very busy, particularly from the larger suppliers, but when it did quieten down around lunchtime, you could go up and speak to the vendors and have more detailed discussions and in-depth conversations, which is really good because you can find out more information and learn more about the products you're buying.
There's some impressive engineering on display at the show. Here you can see the AWR Technology custom built mounts and drives. One of the first things you see is the Pulsar Observatory, which is always an impressive sight as you go through the doors. It was really good fun to go inside the dome and have a good look around the observatory, see how the roof opened using a pull cord and exactly how the dome rotation is controlled. Just off from the main hall, there are several displays from different astronomy societies and organisations. There's also a really good selection of second-hand books which are for sale. Being able to talk to the developers and suppliers is really useful because it helps you learn more about their products and also they can take away potential ideas for future development. Practical Astronomy Show was a brilliant day out. I'm so glad I went. I managed to pick up a couple of bits of my rigs, which is really useful, and I got to see some new things to give me new ideas going forward. Thanks ever so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow.